How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out everything you need to know about New Game Plus in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. The first and most important question most people have about New Game Plus in this game is, do you automatically get forced into New Game Plus once you finish the final boss, or can you continue free roaming around your previous playthrough and then venture into New Game Plus whenever you choose to? And fortunately, the answer to this is that after defeating the boss, we do get the choice of whether we want to go straight into New Game Plus or we want to continue roaming around in the previous playthrough. In case we maybe want to continue exploring some of the late game areas we wouldn't have access to if we ventured into New Game Plus, or some mini bosses, or maybe just to stack up on some extra items before starting over. If we do decide to stay in the previous playthrough for a little bit longer, when we are ready to go to New Game Plus, all we need to do is go to the idol at the central hub area of the temple, and here we have an option at the bottom saying venture forth into the next New Game Plus. The next most common question about New Game Plus is which of our items do we get to keep, what passes on to the next playthrough, and what gets left behind. For the most part, you keep pretty much everything. You keep all of your skills, as well as your attack power and vitality will also carry on over. You keep pretty much all of your items, except specific key items that are used to progress the story. You do seem to lose the hearts of the serpent that are needed for the secret ending. If you did have them on the previous playthrough, you don't seem to have those on your next playthrough. You also keep all of your prosthetic tools, all of your prosthetic tool upgrades, all of your materials. For the most part, anything you'd naturally expect to carry on over to the New Game Plus will, and anything like keys and stuff you'd need to access areas you shouldn't yet have access to won't carry on over. This is pretty standard practice in most of FromSoft games. Also, for those of you who may play Dark Souls, you're probably wondering about the Gourd upgrades, the Gourd Seeds, and the Prayer Beads. Can we just collect all of them again once we have New Game Plus to get more instead of doing every single mini boss in the game? We can't actually do this. By this I mean, while we can continue collecting the Prayer Beads and Gourd Seeds that we didn't yet have in the previous playthrough, so say there's a mini boss we didn't kill in our first playthrough, we can now kill that mini boss in New Game Plus and get the Prayer Bead from him. However, the ones we did already get, let's say for example the Gourd Seed we can obtain just after beating the Ogre mini boss, that instead of being a Gourd Seed, it will be a different item. Usually these unique items get replaced by the Buddha statues, Divine Grass, or simply Purses of Gold. So just to recap, you can't collect the ones you already had collected in the previous playthrough, but you can continue getting the ones you hadn't yet got. As we said before, all of your skills you have unlocked will carry on over, at exception of the Mortal Blade and the Mibu Breathing Technique, the one to dive underwater as they are story related. You will need to collect those again in your next playthrough. Obviously all NPCs will reset, anyone you may have killed accidentally will be respawning as if it was a brand new playthrough. And as far as difficulty goes in New Game Plus, with each New Game Plus you take more posture damage and more actual damage as well per hit, and one of the most noticeable things about New Game Plus is that your posture gauge will replenish a lot slower than it did in your first playthrough. So this is going to make you have to deflect more attacks instead of just straight up guarding against everything. And now surprising enough this next thing isn't actually unique to New Game Plus, however some people may not know this, that once you've finished a playthrough on Sekiro, next time you start a save file on that same account, whether it be a new game plus on that same character or simply a brand new playthrough, at the start of the game, down in the well, when you pick up the letter, you'll now also get Kudo's charm. This will only appear once you've finished the game at least once. And then when we meet Kudo, when we go to rescue him, we'll have the option to give the charm to him. Now by giving him the charm, it'll make the game more difficult. And to be precise, the way it becomes more difficult is that while we don't have the charm, if we do decide to give it back to Kudo, will take a bit of damage even when blocking. And this is pretty much against any mob, like the first enemies in the game, who normally can completely block out all of their damage just by holding down the block button, will actually take damage every time we block one of their attacks if we don't perfectly parry or deflect the attack. So this is definitely a huge increment in difficulty and it's really going to make you try to learn the deflect patterns instead of just trying to block many of the attacks. And if you decide to do that in New Game Plus, that's definitely going to be one of the biggest difficulties. But also it's a very cool feature for those of you who like to challenge yourself a little bit. If you do decide to give this in to Kudo and then halfway through the playthrough you decide it's a little bit too much, you can actually go back to the sculptor and ask for Kudo's charm back and you can retrieve this charm to take away this sort of debuff. Now this next thing I'm about to say, I haven't had a chance to confirm it 100% for sure myself, as it wasn't the first ending I got, but apparently if the only ending you have done is the shorter ending, the bad ending, you won't actually get this Kudo's Charm at the beginning of the next playthrough. If anyone can confirm that, that would be great. Also, other questions you may have, the difficulty does increase all the way up into New Game Plus 7. Anything after New Game Plus 7, you can continue doing more playthroughs, however the difficulty won't scale any higher than that. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about New Game Plus. I hope you did find this video helpful guys. If you have any other questions about this topic, please do leave them in the comments below and I or anyone else in the community will be happy to try their best to answer. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time. Now let us leave this place.